teenage blob is a joyous ode to the summers we experienced as teenagers, where money was scarce, music was life, and those hot, hazy days seemingly lasted forever. It's a short but heartfelt minigame collection that is a must for any music lovers. Teenage Blob is a self-described half album, half video game, a collaboration between Philadelphia-based pop-punk rock band The Super Weeks and South African indie game trio Team Laserbeam. The interactive album is an emerging concept within the indie scene that endeavours to create evocative interactive experiences that complement a collection of songs produced specifically for the release. The title aiming more so to convey a certain tone through visuals and gameplay rather than providing a straight interpretation of specific lyrics or overarching themes. 2019's Sayonara Wild Hearts, perhaps the most quote unquote mainstream release in this space, perfectly provided a dazzling neon sourced sci fi accompaniment to one of the best synth pop albums of the year. Teenage Blob, I would argue, achieves this same level of brilliance for the post-emo indie pop punk genre. Gotta be a more condensed way of saying that, surely. You play it as an amorphous blob, excited to go and see their favourite band, the Super Weeks, perform live at a local music venue. But there's one problem. You don't have enough money to buy some sweet new boots before the concert. To raise the necessary funds, you must work a shift at three separate jobs. After all, you wouldn't be seen dead without a brand new pair of sweet kicks. Although there is an extremely loose narrative tying these disparate minigames together, Teenage Blob feels more about the perfect teenage summer. It's about the joy of self-expression and the communal ritual of a rock concert. It's about colour and vibrancy, about life and joy. It's about having fun at work, sticking two fingers up at the man before doing a rad tit flip off a path bench in order to high five a stranger. But but most of all, it feels like it's about that one album you listen to on repeat for the extent of your summer holidays. It's about the music that made you feel seen that carried you through the warm weeks as you rode your bike to hang out with friends, or stayed up late, looking out an open window, feeling the cool night air and appreciating a rare moment of stillness. With each level synchronised to a brand new track by the Super Weeks, Teenage Blob's gameplay and art direction capture a sense of anxious youthful energy, a teenage defiance that lies at the heart of the specific unnamed subgenre that the Super Weeks occupy alongside their bedfellows, the front bottoms, modern baseball, and mom jeans. Post emo, post pop, punt? I guess, what is that genre? Music that almost demands to be listened to on top of a hill with your best pals, drinking bottles of cheap lather and watching the sun slowly evaporate behind a distant collection of inner city skyscrapers. It's a beautiful, fuzzy and invigorating selection of songs and I can't wait for them to drop on other platforms once the game launches on the 13th of August. The graphics, which look like they were done in Microsoft Paint and that is by no means a criticism, help bolster these punt rot foundations. The game looks like it was doodled onto the front of a teenager's stool butt, or is a collection of posters for live performances by bands you've never heard of that play down your local pub. It's crammed full of crude drawings of butts and cool sunglasses, and it's all the better for it. It's messy and sincere, much like the game itself. Teenage Blob consists of six levels, each one a small mini game. There's a paperboy clone where you deliver sandwiches, a skateboarding minigame where you give high fives to lonely citizens while dressed as a ninja turtle, and a guitar hero knockoff where you rot out in order to sell guitars, taking a breath to whine about the pitfalls of capitalism with your co-worker. It all builds up to a super wheat concert where you fling your blob into a crowd of people jumping and smiling as the super wheats rot away on stage, the sound waves of their performance blowing balloons and beach balls into the crowd. Despite the relative simplicity of the presentation, it made me miss live music, especially after eight months of being unable to attend any form of an in-person performance. It was a nice reminder of one of my favourite activities, and it was appreciated in the bleak hell year that is 2020. There's just so much heart to be found here. Despite taking less than 30 minutes to complete, Teenage Blob leaves such a wonderful impression. Playing it felt like peering into a time portal to my own 
teenage years. Back in the days where I had long hair and exclusively wore t-shirts for Led Zeppelin and Blue Oyster Cult. Back then, music was all I cared about. Work was pointless and the summers were the highlight of my entire year. Teenage Blob somehow manages to bottle up all of these complex emotions from that specific point in my life and condenses them into 30 minutes of pure nostalgic delight. What a beautiful thing to experience, and what a fantastic idea for a game. I have a new obsession in the Super Weeks, and I can't wait to explore Team Laserbeam's Bath catalogue as soon as I get the chance. Teenage Blob is a wonderful little experience and an ideal summertime game for anyone yearning for their youth during this year of forced reflection. Personally, I can't recommend it enough an absolute indie gem, and a wonderful example of the interactive album. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to the channel and like this video so that the yearning chasm of the algorithm notices me and swallows me up whole. Thank you, I'll see you next time.